Hello and welcome to something of what is likely to be a rant video. Um, this week, I'm sorry to say, I'm extremely busy. Well, sorry to say, I'm pleased to say I'm extremely busy. Uh, there's been a Christmas rush on the uh, bottle opener trowels. I've been making those things out in the workshop like a mad thing. My poor fingers are bleeding and bruised and covered in all sorts of um, acrid, toxic chemicals. Not much fun, I have to say. Um, there's lots of Archeo soup stuff going on in the background. There's the build up to my brother's wedding. There's the fact that we haven't quite moved into the house yet. And because of that, actually, we still haven't actually decorated for Christmas. Usually by now, Mrs. Soup and I are on top of that stuff. This set is usually decorated by now, but, uh, not yet. That will happen in due course, hopefully. Well, no, it will happen by next week, all this stuff. But it's been a busy week, and we're only on day three. It's only Wednesday. Oh, but next week, I will be far less busy. However, this week I wanted to make at least one or two videos. So this this video will have to be uh, the first one, and probably, I don't know, either Questions of Doom or an Archifacts uh, tomorrow or on Friday. We'll see. Now, um, I've wanted to make this video for a little while. It's talking about something which is really, well, just really bothers me. It's something that I'm really passionate about, but something which is just, it's just flaunted all the time um, in, in our faces, especially here in the UK. I know for a fact in the US. Um, and that is just lazy, lazy, lazy content to do with archaeology and history. Lazy TV programs, essentially. Now, what I'm talking about is um, a particular series in, on a channel called Yesterday here in Britain. Now, Yesterday was formerly known as the UK TV History Channel. Now, we'll come back to what UK TV is, the, the conglomerate, but th this is the equivalent of the History Channel, but in, in the UK. It's now called Yesterday, as in stuff that came before that came yesterday. Now, um, yesterday has a reputation in Britain for for showing, for the most part, documentaries about the Second World War. Uh, you know, they're, 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 they sort of market themselves as being essentially about history and, in general, human history. But actually, really, they're, they're, they're well, one comedian went so far as to say in a, in a skit, Dear UK TV history, the Nazis were bad. We get it. Thank you. Move on. Let's let's see something else, shall we? And it's all it's it's that it's that kind of thing, and that and it's all it's all that sort of stuff that floats around this TV channel. And um, this advert has been has been in in and around the world, as it were, for the past few weeks. And it's an advert for Forbidden History, presented by Jamie Theakston. Now we'll come to Jamie Theakston in just a moment, but um, Forbidden History. Let's, do you want, let, to, 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 let's, let's, let's just have a look at the advert, shall we? Here we go. Join me, Jamie Theakston, as I investigate the secrets that were meant to stay buried. I mean, that is just extraordinary and priceless. There would have been some kind of flying object in here. Forbidden history. It's amazing. Tonight at nine, new and exclusive to yesterday. That's, that's the advert. Now, the funny thing is, actually, the advert is well edited. It's charismatic, it's adventurous, it's got good music, it's got, you go, oh, when you see it, what, 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 what's this about? But then you realize they're talking rubbish. It's actually a load of nonsense. So it starts out with the presenter, Jamie, walking in front, in front of Petra, the famous uh, archeological site cut into the rock, this beautiful, beautiful monument. Um, it featured in the, in the third Indiana Jones film, the, uh, the resting place of the Holy Grail in that film. And he's walking across and you go, okay, right, this is the kind of program we're in. We're in some sort of adventurous kind of Indiana Jones type thing. Um, and then it cuts to a UFO and does what's called a drum, well, a, <laughs> a zoom cut, but also at a Dutch angle. So it sort of goes, zoom, zoom, like that. What meant? And, um, <laughs> and you go, a, a UFO? What? And then it cuts to the presenter, Jamie, in a museum using a torch to look into a glass cabinet of some sort, followed by the statement or the question, you know, the, the, the thing that comes up on the screen saying, hidden treasures. Be buried. I mean, that is just extraordinary and priceless. There would have hidden treasures? It's in a museum. If that's the opposite of hidden, if it's in a museum, if it's like on display, it's not hidden. 
<laughs> if you can go to it and see it in a glass cabinet, no less, it's not hidden. That is not a hidden treasure. That's not what hidden means. And, <laughs> and also, why is he using a torch in, in that place? Later on in the advert, well, I'll come to it in a moment, but why is he using a torch? Why not just turn on the lights? <sighs> sorry, sorry, it's been, it's, been a, it's, been a, it's been a long couple of days. Then we cut to the presenter in a field surrounded by a sort of a Stonehenge type thing but made out of concrete, like a circular um, structure made out of concrete. Uh, and he's saying, um, so you're saying that in this, in this, in this in hangar there was a flying machine, this kind of thing. And he stood next to a man in a high vis jacket who looks a little bit clueless, he's kind of looking from side to side, got his hand in his pockets. Um, and then it cuts to an image cut out images incidentally of first of all some senior ranking Nazi officers and then behind them cut out separately is the UFO uh, the aforementioned ship um, and then we see on the screen the Nazi secret weapon question mark Forbidden. what what so you got some bloke in a field just going yeah oh, yeah yeah this is this is where yeah, this is where it was why? Why are we being shown UFOs and Nazis? Why? Why? We don't need to see that. It's not, it's just, oh, there's so much good history and archaeology and research and actual honest to God questions out there. Actual seriously gripping things that are actually being done that actually did exist and you're making a program about Sorry, okay, sorry, sorry, we'll come back. Then we go back to the presenter, he's in the museum again with his torch at a glass cabinet. And you can see behind him there's a wall, there's a door, it's daylight outside, they've just turned off the lights inside the museum so he can use his torch and look dramatic and look as though he's making some sort of a discovery. Turn on the lights, man! <laughs> it's a museum, you're in a museum. They're not hidden treasures, you're not on some sort of national treasure slash Indiana Jones discovery. You are trying to manufacture drama out of something which isn't real and is not dramatic. And actually, what you should be doing is doing proper research and maybe, I don't know, making the things that are dramatic, dramatic. For example, uh, the effort that went into building the pyramids, the remarkable achievement that that is, that's dramatic. The people who built Stonehenge, actually talk about the people who built Stonehenge, how it happened, the effort that went, that's dramatic. Um, uh, I don't know, uh, uh, the, the, the Romans coming to Britain and whether or not they actually invaded and killed and massacred or whether whether there was some sort of political subterfuge. There's a bit of drama in there, inherent in that. Uh, I don't know, uh, into clan warfare in the Iron Age where people uh, actually it's been shown, when, uh, occasionally it seems, apparently they, they, were, they were involved in massacres. Uh, but at other times they were living very, very peaceful lifestyles. What's going on there? There's an honest to goodness mystery and it is, in fact, dramatic. How about, ooh, I don't know, uh, Mesoamerica? Human sacrifice! That's dramatic! Talk about that stuff! Don't talk about blooming Nazis and UFOs! <laughs> it's so annoying! And it's so beneath us. It's 2014, almost 2015, and we're being subjected to this nonsense, pseudo crap that was being put out in books when my dad was a boy. You know, when he was growing up, he saw this stuff in annuals, in cartoons, in comics. It's, though, it's as though those very same people are now commissioning programs going, oh yes, I remember reading that... Uh that boy's adventure book, and they seem to think that there might be UFOs with the Nazis. Yes, yes, let's, let's do something about that, shall we? That's, that must be, that'll be compelling. And history is compelling enough. We don't have to talk about bollocks. We don't have to turn off the lights and pretend to be in the dark. Sorry, sorry. It's been a long week. No, it hasn't, actually. It's been three days, but this advert really got under my skin. Okay. Let's just take a look at uh, Jamie Theakston though. Jamie Bell Barker Theakston, uh, born in 1970, is an English television and radio presenter, this is according to Wikipedia, producer and actor known for hosting Top of the Pops, co-hosting The Breakfast Show with Emma Bunton on Heart FM, 
also from the rating BBC documentary series such as Traffic Cops and Motorway Cops. Well, there's someone who's completely qualified to talk about all this historical stuff and this intrigue and, uh, and to know whether or not the man in the field in the circular thing is talking bollocks. Yeah, there's someone who knows. The, uh, the, to be fair, he's not a stupid man. He did apparently get a first class degree in business studies. So I'm not saying he's an idiot, but he's no more qualified to talk about and to understand and to discern truth when it comes to history and heritage and archaeological stuff than I am, I don't know, to talk about manufacturing ladies' underwear. I have no idea how to do that stuff and I don't try to talk about it. I also don't, for example, know, I don't know, anything about presenting a radio show. I, I just, for goodness sake, it just shows such a lack of imagination from the, from every, at every point in this, in this, in this TV channel, the programmes commissioning, the people who they got to present it, the research that went into it, there's been no effort. It's just, here you go folks, here's some intriguing stuff. And then the worst, the, the, the reason why it's a problem though, I know you can have drama, you can have all this stuff, but this doesn't happen with any other science or any other academic endeavour. You don't get forbidden philosophy. Do you? You don't get uh, <laughs> unknown mathematics. You don't get, um, uh, you don't get, I don't know, the, the stuff Brian Cox didn't want you to know about black holes. You just don't get it. For some reason, people think they can do what they want when it comes to archaeology and history. And that really bothers me. Now, <laughs> the worst part about all this is the fact that actually indirectly I'm sort of paying for it or in some way sponsoring this stuff. UK TV history is in part owned by the BBC World Service and the World Service is yes a profit making uh, wing of the BBC it's not just a public broadcasting service but here in the UK in, in case you don't know we pay TV license the TV license goes to making programs like for example Doctor Who uh, David Attenborough's uh, explorations of the wildlife on this planet. I'm losing my words now apparently. Um, an actual, you know, actual historical content. So for example, people exploring castles and, you know, great houses and all this kind of stuff. Um, uh, Neil Oliver TV series, uh, the Coast TV series. These are BBC funded and these are funded uh, directly actually by our um, our uh, TV license. So essentially it's a tax on the TV which pays for public content. Now at some point at some point, our money, my money, has been used to either directly fund or to be the seed money which leads to the profits which then funds this content. And I find that abhorrent. I just can't, I can't believe it. That essentially, that the, 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 <laughs> this, is, this is what they're doing and they get away with it. And they get away with it with, with history and archaeology and with stuff which actually has genuine import and which is, is not just anyone's, anyone's thing to talk about. You can't just, just make stuff up, you know, and yet you can make... It, it, uh, 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 uh. Anyway, hopefully I've made my point. <laughs> um, yeah, it's been bothering me for a while. It's been it's been on my mind for a while, and I just thought I'd just put it out there. This this stuff just has to stop. In this day and age, we all deserve better. We really do. And I, for one, am just fed up of it. Uh, there is a place for 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 historical intrigue and drama. But there needs to be more than just that on what is essentially the flagship channel in Britain for history and archaeology. There just has to be. There should be. And we deserve it. And Jamie Theakston, I've got nothing against you, but for goodness sake, man, you're doing so much in other realms already. Let someone who knows what they're talking about talk about history, please. And maybe someone who knows how to turn a light on in, in a museum. You know, it's please. Anyway, thank you. Until next time, as ever, guys, do take care. Bye-bye.